Hi there guys, today we're going to do something a bit different. Usually I don't do this big screen videos, but today I'm going to try something different. And excuse me if you see me looking that direction, that because my webcam is above my main monitor and uh, yeah, my other monitor is over there. So once in a while i get a pop-up or something i'm going to watch that monitor today we're going to open a lot of china packages well not really a lot but seven of these and i'm actually not sure if all of them are relevant but uh, most of them should be electronics and maybe arduino or solar energy so Let's get this thing set up. I'm going to move my webcam over here. I got this microphone stand. I'm going to place the webcam on so you can see me opening the packages. And then another thing, tomorrow I'm going to get my, uh, you see those shiny bits? No, you don't, it might be a bit hard. I had surgery not long ago. Oh, it's, it's glittering. <laughs> Very nice, and uh, I have sort of uh, pieces of metal in my arm to to keep the wound together instead of uh, stitches. Uh, I guess that's how it's done these days. So let me just switch the camera and get set up for this. All right, the camera is set up. Let's. Let's get this show on the road. I'm just going to move the packages out of the way and we got this nice green slate to open things on. So let's see. The first one is marked 1.85 SOP. I'm not sure what that is, but Let's find out. And it's of course from China, but I'm not sure where I have bought it because I'm buying things all over the place. Oh, this is great. Really hope the camera can zoom in on this. Let's, let's try to, to help it a bit. Hope you can see it. There we go. That's a bit sharp. That's actually 1080 tiny 85 chips. Uh, as you know, I've been working with Arduino over my last videos, and yesterday I received a ton of these. These are the fake Pro Minis. Let's see. And. Uh, there we go. However, I did some testing and they work great. This is also a China Pro Mini. And I will be developing for the, the Pro Mini and then be using the AT Tiny chip for some of my projects along the way. So let me see what we can do about this. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Just had to open a window for the focus. That's a bit annoying. It's jumping in and out of uh, that. And there's no papers or anything else inside. So let's put that aside. The next package is... Uh, a large one, it's marked uh, electronics, and I think I'm able to rip it off, it's just a plastic bag. However, it's not electronics, it's a uh, croquette needles for my wife, so off with that, electronics. <laughs> Next one, 
Let's see if we can get some focus on this. One thousand IC sample. Um, I'm not sure, but I think I know what it is. Oh, what? Oh, double layered or triple layered? A sentence. Let's get that another cut. <laughs> yep. One thousand. I think it's uh, one kilo ohms resistors. Oh yeah, it says so here. One kilo ohm, five percent. <laughs> Ross certified. That's that's insane. I got a. I think it was uh, twenty. Uh, no, fifty two twenty resistors for the same price as I get these one thousand for. So I guess I have resistors for quite some time now. Well, that's good. With my projects, I'm going to need them. <clears throat> so let's see. The next one is what's it say? It says nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Well, that's exciting. Oh, yeah. This is one of the things I've really been waiting for. Let's see. It's a solar charge controller. And uh, let's see if we can turn it the right way. There we go. It's a charge controller for 12 and 24 volts. And um, that's perfect for me because I'm actually building a self... This is small. Manual. <laughs> a one-page manual. That's nice. <laughs> Off with that. Only use the manual if everything else fails. I'm building a self-supplied uh, greenhouse in my garden. And uh, I'm going to place some solar panels on the roof. And this thing is actually going to charge or control the charge on some of the batteries. And it's going to be Arduino controlled. And clearly... Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, it's going to be controlled from my house right here. This is very exciting. Can't wait to get this thing powered up. It annoys me a bit, there's these diodes, because I'm working with a very, very load. <laughs> load <laughs> low load or low charge and um, if you know anything about Arduino you know standby mode they run very low in in power and this could be a problem because the, <laughs> the LEDs may even use more power than the Arduino we'll log into that later next package it's also marked electronics from Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I needed these yesterday, but I got them today. And uh, I'm very happy. Now I'm very happy. <laughs> these are serial to USB connectors. And uh, you can use them, for example, to program units like this one. The way I do it, uh, or have done it until now, is I take a Arduino Uno and remove the main chip. 
and simply hook this up to power, transmit, receive, and the reset. They are marked right there. So that way you can transfer directly from uh, Windows directly onto this thing without having these. But since I now have these, of course, I'm going to use them. Or at least one of them. I can see I've got different colors of cable. I'm running a uh, local web shop, and uh, of course, those that I'm not using are going to be sold there. Oh, there's a switch between 3 and uh, 5 volts right there. And uh, of course, I'm using the 5 volts, so I'm just going to set it to 5 already now. Nice, very nice. Let's put it in its bag, keeping it safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. And let's see the next bag. Is, well, it was this one. It's marked electronics, but uh, when I read the description, it's a watch. And uh, I already got one. So let's skip that for now. This one, however, I find very interesting. It's a big square and it's marked <laughs> electronic part. So I'm very curious. And uh, I, I'm still awaiting about 60 packages from China. So I really don't know what it is. Oh, prototype shields or boards. Again, very, very happy with those because I've only had two and uh, let me get one from over here. They are always filled up with some sort of project and I never have any empty. So now I got a few spares. That's nice. I was about to start <laughs> using uh, real bots just to solder on, just for test projects, because I was running low on these. But that's nice. And, uh, yeah. I think that was all the packages, guys. So, let's, let's do a, a small cutaway again. And, uh, yeah, the camera is being silly. Well, there we go. That was my packages for today. And the one I'm really most excited about are the AT Tiny 85 chips. Uh, really looking forward to using those in some of my projects. And, of course, my solar charger. Maybe now you can see it's, it's actually quite large compared to... Uh, I think this was from eBay, and there was an image, and, and it felt kind of small on the picture. And usually, when you get stuff from China, it's it's always micro-sized in some way. So uh, it's new to me to get this huge piece of hardware. But no complaints. Gonna test if it if it works and. Play around with it a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. And if you have an idea or a suggestion, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.